we're going to design a morning routine and one that's actually gonna stick. We've all seen it. We've all seen those picture perfect morning routines that we want in our life. We want that. We want to wake up and feel that motivated and look that good and be that inspired and get that amount of things done. I get it. But I also want to encourage you to take a really deep look into how different you are from the girl that you're watching. And so today I'm not gonna tell you how to be perfect. I'm not gonna tell you how to make yours look like hers or like mine. I'm going to help you design one that's perfectly curated for yourself because this is supposed to support you, not make you feel pressure or make you feel less if you don't get to it. So let me show you what I'm doing. Let me show you the questions that I'm asking myself to start this process and um, I'm excited. Anyway, let's begin. Okay, there are three steps in designing your morning routine. The first one is just a simple question and it's how are you doing? I ask myself this before I start any new routine because I want it to be curated for me and my life and supporting how I'm doing. For instance, are you stressed? Are you busy? Do you have kids? Are you wanting to work out more? Are you depressed? Are you low? Do you have a lot of energy? Ask yourself these questions. How are you actually doing? And then curate that to support you in your morning. So the next question is, why do you want to start a morning routine? W-H-Y. Why do we want to do this? For me personally, I want to be more prepared for the day. When I feel behind and when I don't get my morning tasks done before my kids wake up and before we start the day, I feel so much more stressed, so much more irritable because things aren't going my way and it hurts. It hurts everyone in this house. So to be prepared, that is my why. Your why can be, you know, to have more energy or to have some stillness before you have a crazy day or to get ahead of work. You don't have to get up and work out. You can get up and start your emails right away. Do whatever works for you. Don't feel pressure or guilt. You can't do this wrong, but I do encourage you to do it in a way and design it in a way that supports you, which is why I said, how are you doing before I said why? Okay, so number three, you're going to design your morning routine. We're gonna write it out. Don't worry, it's not finalized, but be realistic, be truthful, and also like turn on some good music, make this beautiful and inspirational and motivating so that maybe we can level up. Maybe we can have a morning that we really, really desire. For me, it's simple. I don't like to do a bunch of stuff in the morning because it stresses me out. Um, so let me show you exactly what I'm writing down for my morning routine. Here's the sunrise. Good morning, sun. Okay, we're gonna start at six in the morning and I'm going to make myself a cup of tea, get some warm liquid into my body first thing, and then I'm gonna do my five minute journal prompt. I find that doing my five minute journal prompt first thing in the morning is what really helps me to step into my day intentionally. Next. Because my goal is to be prepared, I'm gonna get dressed and put my makeup on right after I do my five minute journal. And then following that, I'm going to make breakfast. And then if I have time and my kids aren't awake, this is going to be my free time where I can either, depending on the day, depending on how I feel, I can meditate, I can clean, I can make a fun, yummy breakfast, I can get ahead on work, or I can take a nice warm bath. But here, I think it's essential for me personally and probably for more people than you realize to keep this window open, to not put pressure on it. If you feel good, go for a run. If you don't feel good, take a bath or read your favorite book. Give yourself freedom. I feel like that's missing in so many of the that girl YouTube videos, TikToks, Instagram reels where we're all seeing perfection. It's never gonna be perfect. We're gonna do our best, but it's not gonna be what we want every day. We're not gonna wake up with gumption and energy. So we're gonna give ourselves the freedom to go with the flow and to be flexible. And then my last step is small habits. And this is setting myself up for success. So back to our list, back to our day plan. So for instance, if I wanna wake up at 6 a.m., I need to be in my bed by nine o'clock. That means all computers shut off. I can watch friends with my husband, read a book, play cards with him, but I need to be in bed, showered, teeth brushed by nine so that I wake up with energy at 6 a.m. ready for the day. Tea, 
I always set out a teacup and the tea that I want the night before to make sure that I, I make this habit work and I make my tea in the morning. So my five minute journal prompt right after my tea, I do it at this desk. So I turn on this light, which is actually an amber light from Cozy Red Light Therapy. And so I'm not getting blue light first thing in the morning and my husband isn't woken up by a really bright light. It's still soft and red because it's normally still dark outside. So I turn this on and I do my five minute journal prompt and it's 10 minutes into my morning and I've already done the two things that are incredibly important to me personally. After I do my journal prompt, I get dressed. And if I wanna make this stick, which I have had trouble with in the past, and this literally makes it stick. If I wanna make it stick, I have to set out my clothes the night before. And I actually have to do that for my kids as well. It's easier to get them dressed if I've already made that decision the night before. Makeup is super simple. I actually don't have the best lighting in my bathroom, so I do the basics on my face in the morning and then I touch it up when Tate's up and I can use the morning light right here. But when I have those things done, I'm like, okay, I can handle the day. I'm prepared, I'm ready. The next thing I do is I make breakfast. This is pretty easy to set yourself up for success. The small habits, I just need eggs, oranges, anything that's going to nourish my body with protein, carbohydrate, and a fat so that my blood sugar stays balanced. When I am not balanced, when I am not fully nourished, my irritability is literally through the roof because my body thinks it's starving. So I eat first thing in the morning to tell my body that I'm safe, I'm nourished, I'm okay, and that I can do it. Then of course I take my, all my supplements. You guys have said so many times that you want to see my supplement list. Are you still interested in that? I can give it to you. Just let me know down below. That's totally fine. I'm not a doctor. I will never claim to be a doctor, but I do take supplements to support my energy levels and my overall health. Are you interested? Let me know. And then last on my list is my window of free time. This is my favorite part of the day. And normally I have like, it's 15 minutes to 45 minutes of a window to do what I need to do. Sometimes I meditate. Sometimes I do Qigong. Sometimes I take a bath. Honestly, it's pretty much between those three. I have started to want to walk in the morning because it's getting nicer. So maybe we'll start doing that as well. But free time is really nice because there's no pressure. And you know, I don't get angry or frustrated if my kids wake up and I can't complete it because I've already prepared myself for the day. I'm not gonna be behind. So that's how I set up my routine. And those are the small habits that I put in place to make this successful and to make it stick. Like I have to have this journal right here and this desk has to be clean if I want to do my five minute journal prompt. And I think about all those things when I'm setting out my clothes every single night when I'm putting on my PJs. So all these tiny habits, they really do stack up to form life altering routines and circumstances for you to increase your quality of life. So cheers to living intentionally, including with your morning routine. And don't feel bad if yours doesn't look like somebody else's. Some days it's gonna look amazing, some days you're gonna look like trash, and that is okay. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. It's kinda crazy The kinds of things life throws at you